Is this pain? Or just the sound of composition? The synthesis of memory and matter. The echoes of some other skull. Is it yours or mine? Cela dit, il faut faire avec. Ouais, c'est ce que dit mon voisin, qui est pas un bon mec. Son nom c'est Monsieur Bibadam. Il est vraiment énorme. The other day, I went to a design fest to sell my my fanzines and, and stuff, and no, nothing was happening. Nothing interesting was happening there. Nobody was was buying anything, and and it felt very bad. <laughs> But then some man approached me and and started talking to me, and then he said he he was a fan of my work yeah, yeah. and and he liked a lot uh, my my fanzine. And I was so happy. And then I asked him, "Which one of my works did you get the the last time?" And and then he said, "Oh, it was a a, a zine about aliens." And and I was like, "Aliens?" Uh, but but I don't I don't have any aliens comic i don't remember writing anything about aliens or ufos and then he he stared at me like for 10 seconds and 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 he asked me but aren't you aren't you this this writer and i said i'm not this writer and then we we laughed a lot and then he he fade away in a moment and then i was sad sad again <laughs> oh no! Thanks, <laughs>
pumpkin. You're such a good boy. Alert. 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 Guess it's time to save the day. Gonna kick some butts. Gonna save some stuff. Gonna fight. That's right. He's a hero kind of guy. Double knot for safety. Gonna save the day. Maybe save some babes. He's just got to suit up first. Now he's ready to slay. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick makeup tutorial for a look on the go, or if you just wanna post a look on Instagram with a shoehorned insincerity to the latest mass shooting. So the first thing you'll need is to be young and Caucasian and about $800 worth of beauty products. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, sitting in a chair for 20 minutes and editing five cuts really takes a lot out of me, and I've only been getting like 10 hours of sleep a night. Okay, so let's start with the foundation. You're gonna wanna find a shade just dark enough to make you look racially ambiguous, which is really in right now. My shade is from the Vaguely Ethnic Collection, it's called Minstrel. People always ask me what my best beauty tip would be, and for me it was to drop a few hundred dollars to buy your base followers until you're influential enough to be sponsored by a company that profits off the underpaid labor of the working class, and you know, just drinking water. Now that we've got our base, what you're going to want to do is adopt a few cute phrases from underrepresented communities and pass them off as your own. Okay. Getting your eyeliner just right is crucial. You think a university is just gonna take your parents' bribes with your wings looking sloppy? No. Then for my eyeshadow, I just like to use my grandma's ashes to get this cool smoky effect. She died of incontinence, so this is kind of redemption for her, you know? So for the lips, I just use my jar of bees, and you can get the jar from Michaels or Target and the bees from a bee sanctuary and just stick your lips in the hole until it hurts and stock up on these because the bees are dying, which is super irritating. So that's the final look. Remember this kind of symmetrical beauty is unattainable for some, but I really encourage you all to throw your money and self-esteem into trying to achieve it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this fall sense of intimacy. Remember, I'll never truly know or care about any of you. Remember to like, share, sacrifice a goat, and subscribe. And please don't leave any hateful comments about me being privileged and uneducated, okay? I can't help it that I was born into money and didn't bother to learn anything about the world. Bye. I just want you to know that you are loved. Today, it's my birthday. I'll invite you to my party. Now we can be friends. I love you. Look what sad little cunt. <laughs> oh, look at that kind little wanker. Of course we did. All you had to do was row out to it in a boat, and when you were underneath, prop a ladder against her and scramble up. We used to go out with those little rowboats they had in those days, round and flat, made of cork. They had quite a few of us, me, Captain Vidvid, his wife, my deaf cousin, and sometimes little Lixic. She was twelve or so at that time. On those nights the water was very calm, so silvery it looked like mercury. And the fish in it, violet colored, unable to resist the moon's attraction, rose to the surface, all of them. And so did the octopuses and the saffron medusas. There was always a flight of tiny creatures, little crabs, squid, and even some weeds that broke from the sea and ended up on the moon, hanging down from that lime white ceiling or else they stayed in mid-air, a phosphorescent swarm we had to drive off, waving banana leaves at them.
They say if you believe in yourself, you can make today a perfect day. I say if you believe in yourself, if you are God, today can be a perfect day. But I say today is already. So one of these people is my friend Michael, and he's just minding his own business, driving to Minneapolis on a summer early afternoon, I suppose. Um, and he's driving past one of the parks, and he notices this guy in the park with a, taking a frisbee and throwing it up in the air, and then real quick taking his camera and like trying to snap pictures of it, and then. And then going and grabbing, retrieving the frisbee, and throwing it in the air, and they oh, are trying to get all these pictures. <laughs> and it's like he's so Michael pulls over. He's like, "What the hell?" And he decides he's got to ask this guy, "What's going on?" And so he gets out of his car, goes over, and says, "Hey, I was just driving by. Noticed you were throwing a frisbee and taking photos. I'm just curious, what's going on?" Um, and uh, and so the guy taking the photos is Bert, and Bert says, um, "Oh, I'm um, I'm submitting these to a UFO magazine. I'm taking UFO <laughs> photographs." <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out that at least one, if not more, of his photos are like some of the iconic UFO community. Proof of the existence of UFO. Hi, it's me, Barry B. Benson from B Movie. We're doing B Movie too out here. It's a western now. It doesn't take place in New York. It's a it's a western now out west. A lot of bees are missing. They've been going to disappearing. So I'm a detective. I'm gonna help find the bee missing bees. It's like Detective Pikachu now. And now I have teeth. They gave me teeth, just like the Sonic movie bees have teeth. Here's a sneak peek. Where'd all the bees go? They told me, Barry, you gotta get teeth. We're adding teeth. And I said, bees don't have teeth, but now I love my teeth. It's a new movie coming out uh, this fall, 2019. You might want to get your ticket now before they sell out on Fandango. It's Bee Movie 2. Twice the action, twice the honey, but it does, it costs the same amount of money. Whoa, watch out, Crisp. Oh, jeez, thanks, Dad. Crisp, you have to be more careful around bees. They're very dangerous. Uh, but Dad, I always thought bees were good for the environment and diving at an alarming rate, thus needed to be protected. Nope. You see, Crisp, bees are actually filled with a neurotoxin called triacid carcinogen that enters your bloodstream and stops your superior vena cava from receiving oxygen. Wow, really? It's true. Not only that, when bees pollinate flowers, those flowers produce food that becomes filled with triacid carcinogen and other porous toxins like dolomine, boxidine, and blastocyclaricin. I don't like the way those things sound. Nobody does. Now, I want you to do your part, Crisp. The next time you see a bee, remember this rhyme. A bee in sight will take the light of one to two children a day. But if I'm smart with all my heart, we can make all the bees go away. I am not a sex toy. 
I am a desk toy. I am a paperweight on top of you. I am not a sex toy. I am a desk toy. Wind me up and fasten my screws. I am not a sex toy. I am a desk toy. Squeeze me between your fingers for stress relief. I am not a sex toy. I am a desk toy. The bearings inside me need to be greased. Slap me around to get the creative juices flowing. I am a sex toy. I am a distraction. Let's get to work. I am a sex toy. 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 This is unprofessional. Let's get to work. What do you think you're going to be doing in 10 years? I'll tell you. All right, listen. You're going to be squatting in the in the friggin' desert, and you're going to be in a compound. You're going to be protected with AK-47 sawed-off shotguns, uh, trip mines, trip wires. You're going to have all kinds of, of, of sneaky booby traps. You're going to have Rambo knives. You're going to have chainsaws. You're going to be protecting yourself. You're going to be living in a friggin' bunker. And there's not going to be no fucking internet. There's not going to be none of that stuff. None of, none of that. And uh, you're going to spend all your time fighting off fucking cannibals. What are you going to do when you're done, when you wipe the guts off of your fucking machete and you go back to your fucking compound? What are you going to do? What are you going to share? What moments are you going to share with the, the harem of uh, illiterate wasteland girls? Books. That's what you're going to do. You're going to read fucking books. There's not going to be no fucking computers, nothing, none of that stuff. But you're going to be reading books. You're going to be reading great books. You're going to be reading the Harry Potter books. You're going to be in a dream world of magic. Oh, you're going to love it. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to have uh, all, the, all the classics there, all right? You're going to have all the classics. You're going to have the Bible. You're going to have the Bible, a lot of good stuff in there. You're going to have Jugs Magazine. You're going to have uh, books about Star Wars, but, like, not about the main guys from Star Wars. You're going to have, like, a, a book about the trash can robot, the one that looks like a fucking municipal trash can. You're going to have You're going to have his book. That's going to survive. And then 10,000 years, they're going to base a religion off of it. Oh, there you go. I am happy. Shopkeep, I've got a vampire problem, and I need all your wooden stakes. We're fresh out of wooden stakes. Darn. Well, how about a crucifix? Oh, we're fresh out of crucifixes. Well, how about... Fresh <laughs> out of holy water. Sorry, sir. Well, what do you have for me round here? Oh, we did just get a great load of fresh garlic in stock today. Garlic, you say? This will taste that dirty vampire real good. Hey, free kisses. I like kissing. Oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. Harry Smith collected lots of records. Harry Smith collected many things. Harry Smith collected paper airplanes. Harry Smith saved figures made with string. He didn't have a home. A storage bin or vat. He didn't have a trunk or a box, but he did wear one big hat. Harry Smith collected lots of picture books. Harry Smith collected children's toys. Harry Smith 
saved everything he ever had. Terry Smith, sing all the girls and boys. He didn't have a mansion or a locker big and fat. He didn't have a safe or a closet or a car or a grain silo or a warehouse or a garage or a basement. But he had a storage had. Harry Smith kept it under his hat. 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 And his things gave him visions and it all went to his head. He had visions and revisions and now Harry Smith is dead. Yes, Harry Smith is dead. Yes, Harry Smith is dead. Yes, Harry Smith is dead. Take your shoes off. Take a dip in the pool. Look over to your left. Wave to your neighbor. He's watching, but he's also your friend. Don't be scared. Sit back. Relax. We got it covered. Take a load off. You earned it. Wellspring Cottage. Come visit. Dude, uh, I think the moon just winked at me. What? Whoa, whoa, the moon is like looking good. Like, yeah, man, the moon is hot. Oh, my, do you see that bone structure? <laughs> bro, bro I, I think I'm gonna go for it. Uh, what do you mean? Like, I think I'm gonna make a move on the moon. I mean. Yeah, like, that's, that's a hot mood. Go for it. I wonder what a rubber came out of it. <laughs> what was its name? Bing. Bing the rubber doll. Bing, yeah, Bing. We <laughs> named him after Bing Crosby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wow. It never sang though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those crazy lights. Oh my gosh. There's a party going on here. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Bird. Watch out. My gosh, you got a house full. <laughs> wow, yeah. Is your back warming up at all? Oh, it's completely warm. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> it feels so good, too. A lot of people are lit up, aren't they? Yeah. That neat to see. <coughs> a lot of work. Oh, look at this one. Holy cow. Can you imagine what all it took to get that up? Woo. And their electricity bill. Oh, yes. Woo. <laughs> I'm not recognizing any of these places. Look at this strand of lights. It looks oh. like a tree. And it's one they put up that way, isn't yeah. it? 
<laughs> Good idea. Simplifies matters. Look at all these blow up things. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, that's the house where I watched Scream, the Scream movies look for the first time. Look at Santa Claus there. Boy, those are big there. jobbies, too. Uh, what's your name? I guess they're full of air, aren't they? Yeah. De deflate them, fold them up, and put them away. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke. I can't remember her last name. All right. Boots up in the back there. I'll grab them for you. Oh, you got them. Yeah. Introducing horse shoes. They're shoes, but for your horse. Say goodbye to these old things. With these horse shoes, no nails required. In all of your favorite brands Mikey's, Duck Bartons, Scrappers, and Abacus. For all of your horsey activities, walking, trotting, running, jumping, snacking, driving, carpentry, meteorology, fishing, and darts. Order now at Horse Pro Shop. Breaking news! The Red Bull Company accidentally emptied their giant cauldron of Red Bull nectar into the ocean. This just in. The world-renowned Bargain Bandit has just escaped from the world's most confined prison. The world, the world is in, is in danger. Do not... Do not say his name. Oh God, I said his name. Oh, oh, this has been a PSA. Oh God. I got 
got shot right in the heart. And you know what I fucking did? I pulled out the goddamn bullet and chucked it right back at him. And I said, is that the hardest you can hit? I am God, child. Jesus is my mentor. Remember this face, because I'm going to assassinate the president and take his place. And I will rule the whole damn world. You know what? I like you. Here, take this. It's a chaos buck. When I own the world, these will be worth way more than regular American capitalistic dollars. Oh, uh, thanks. You're one of the good ones, you know. Everyone stopped talking to me, talking to me for some odd reason. People like you r really keep me sane out here. I feel like people stopped seeing me. One more dance move before you go. But, sir, the sun's nearly down, and I've been dancing for you all day. Just one more dance move, Billy. Sir, my knees are tired. I can't do any more dance moves. Just show me one more dance move. Fine, I'll give you one more dance move. That's it. <laughs> Looks like we've got company. 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 Looks like we got company. Looks like we got Uh oh, looks like we've got company. 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 <laughs> Looks like. You know, it, it, it's a very, very tenuous position to be in to make a feature-length film. Um, I, I, every day is a new challenge. E every day comes with its own struggles, and I knew. Uh, while I was making the holiday that this would be no exception, that it would take more than one take to, to make this movie. And so I, it was a daily reminder to myself to, um, to just really let the winds be what they may and, and, and go with the float. You know, and, and I think as future generations watch the holiday, they, they will see in my performance an ease and a, a fluidity, and, and I really owe that to just goading with the floating. It's all about that, really.
dear, it's Christmas again. <sighs> I'm so bored. What do you do on Christmas? Going back home? It's so expensive to travel on Christmas. That's why I'm still here. I'm so tired of being together. I just want to be alone. Merry, merry Christmas. Lonely, lonely Christmas. Have you heard of this song? I don't feel lonely though, but I just want to be alone. You can do anything that makes you feel comfortable when you're alone, such as being naked. DARPA is remote controlling birds and not all of the birds but some of them are becoming government spies. Um, pretty wild stuff I would say. Also they're forcing caterpillars to migrate to New, New Mexico which is just not very cool because we're not going to have any butterflies um, anywhere else in any part of the world. They're also building rocket ships that are flying over all of the United States currently. That's why there's so many clouds and I cannot even see the sun. Um, it's just like getting really cold. Each step has just been so grueling, and I'm worried that by the last step, I might fall apart. So pumped, so fucking sad, I've been waiting all week! Mom gave me the Volvo! Gravel moistens my eyeballs! Now, hot dog singers up next. Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs>
no bugs. Extra busted, extra busted. Onions, onions. Hey, muscle man, <coughs> you wanna go back in the ninja PBR? Get fucked up. Go front row, headbutt some bitches. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> That's going pretty well, I guess. I'm more of an eclectic rock kind of man. Outside! What's up? His lineup is bitching, huh? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I've been some places up next to like my favorite sad band ever! More of a green day for this. How could you miss a baby so huh? Yeah, I guess I was just here for the hot dog singers. I don't really fuck with the babies. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am. Is. Headliners on! Fuck! Let's open up this bag! selfish? Do you love yourself? Are you self-absorbed? Have you absorbed yourself yet? Bring yourself in to yourself. Walk down the long arm. I am mostly myself. Where is the edge of yourself? Think of the morning dew on a puppy's nose, the cool summer air going through your ears. Remember the sounds gracing against your eyes. That's right, you're at Wellspring Cottage Bed and Breakfast, where every day is a new experience. Every thought challenges you physically and emotionally. Sit back, relax, because you're in for one heck of a time. We now return to What Tar Nation. 
Well, we've reached the end of the show, so you know what that means. It's time for Sheriff Bear to come out and say goodbye. Come on out, Sheriff Bear. Sheriff Bear? Sheriff Bear? Oh, Sheriff Bear. Hola. Soy un pedazo de mierda. Soy un pedazo de mierda. Yes, that's Spanish they're speaking, and no, these children are not Hispanic. They're American. And they're learning how to cuss up a fucking storm in any language, using SCSI. This remarkable video language program will quickly become their favorite TV show. You'll be amazed when your children begin speaking and understanding their new language from the very first lesson, using this unique method. SCSI is available in so many goddamn languages. Call now. I could do this all day. It's true, I've seen him. This is pretty much just a typical weekend for me. Doesn't matter where it's leading. No. Some people get so preoccupied with what's coming next, they completely lose sight of the bigger picture. Some people would ask me how I've gotten to where I am now, and I'd say I don't see finish lines. I'm one of those people who's all about the process.
One more. Blah, 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 blah. And the last little piggy ran all the way home. The end. Another story! Oh, Wilson, I'm not sure if we have time for another story. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's go explore this icky, nasty cave. Looks really gross. Okay. Oh, what is that? It looks like a sack. Looks like some kind of egg sack thing. Oh god, it's giving birth. Yuck. 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 Oh, what if we adopt this creature as our own child? Okay. We will raise you as our own, you little worm. We'll make you our son and love you. I had tasted the future, and it tasted crisp, bright, and youthful. I was proud to be a part of Generation Crow Crowa. 
That soup was all the convincing I needed. I made my choice. Look out, big city! Here comes Johnman Grip Thirst. Grip John to his friends. Gotta get that cro cro! Get one now on the new style of the day. Ha, cro cro! Clump on it! Pop your shoes off. Rub your feet in the sand. Heck, maybe take a dip in the lake. I don't know. Leave your kids behind. No more wife. You're your own man. Take life by the handles and ride it all the way into the sunset. Wellspring Cottage. Come visit. social, technological, and culturally significant development society has ever seen. As a brand new wife, your most important role is to please your husband. He must be happy and unaware, and you'll require each and every limb to accomplish this. There are a few simple ways to pleasing your man. Have a delicious meal full of ready for him when he gets home from work. Greet him with a warm smile and ask him how his day has been. Do not talk about yourself. Your day was irrelevant. Make sure that the children are quiet for they should be seen and not heard. Do not question his action or judgment. Remember, he is the master of the house. A good wife knows her place. Training by 3067. <laughs> <sighs> I've been thinking about this a lot lately and you know it's crazy could have been anything could have been anything but I chose to be me. I don't know why I did it.
Hey, Michael. Here are the keys to Hellavision. Take them. Wow, thanks. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, it looks like somebody bought Hellavision on Facebook for $50. Oh, wow. Cool. Sounds good. Transferring the money to you now. Wow, that's really cool. Yup. England. Here goes the keys. Oh wow, fifty dollars. I can finally afford coffee. Hey Peter. Oh hey Keelan. Why did you sell Hellavision, Peter? You betrayed us all. Please buy it back. Oh wow, I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe you're right. What am I going to do? We lost the only good thing that we had. Why did I sell my animation? What are we going to oh, do? Oh no, what have I done? I'm so stupid. Stupid. Oh stupid. no, I am such a fool. I betrayed everyone. Everyone hates me How now. could I have been so foolish? So not Cool. So I says to the guy, I says, that's not where you put my toilet, that's my dog. Ha ha ha. That's really cool. Say, I don't think people are really happy with us about Hellavision. I think maybe we should buy it back. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. We should buy it back from the bread and breakfast. What have I done? I prioritized my iced caffeinated beverage over the happiness of my friends. Hi, I would like to return my iced coffee. Okay, here's your refund. Hey Michael, I have the $50 back. We can now buy Hellavision Television Animation Show back from Wellspring Cottage Bed and Breakfast. Wow, that is some great news. Hi, yes. Is this Wellspring Cottage Bed and Breakfast? Yes. We would like to buy Hellavision back. Mm-hmm. Oh, the price has been changed to $10,000. Hey,